Hello everyone and welcome to another Lesson Picks instructional video. Today we're going to look at our new grid layout tool and how it can save you a ton of time. Making grid style materials such as AAC overlays, communication boards, and things like that hasn't always been easy on Lesson Picks. Our material wizard lets you reorder pictures in your tray before printing, but it uses a list. When you're trying to lay out a material with a grid, you really need a view where you can see the whole page and organize your rows and columns. Our new grid layout tool fixes that, and it's really easy. Let's say you want to make a communication board, like this one from the Sharing Center. Until now, this could be a pretty difficult task because you'd have to insert blank symbols and keep track of the picture's order. Let's see how the grid layout tool helps us. I put the same pictures in my tray, but they're in the wrong order just like they would be if you'd gone out finding them yourself. I click Create Materials and choose Picture Cards so I can make a page of pictures. Here you see the list view just like before. You can still use this to translate the words or change their text. And if you change the order, it'll still take effect. But we're going to skip that step for now and click Next. Here we're going to use the Dynamic Cards tab to make a grid of six columns and five rows in landscape mode. We'll set the title and leave the other options the defaults. Rather than clicking Finish, let's click the new Grid Layout button. Notice that this tool took the layout options from the previous screen and gives us the ability to move and organize our pictures. I'll move them all to match what I found in the Sharing Center. I'll also change their background colors right here from this screen. When I have the layout I want, I hit Save Layout, and now I can finish my material. Notice that it laid out the material exactly as I asked, and even moved the blank spots where I wanted them. As you might notice, this feature is in beta, and I'm sure we'll find some ways to improve it. But we really think this will improve the experience for all of you working with core words, AAC overlays, and any other grid style material. If you have any questions, click help and let us know, or better yet, join us on the Lesson Picks users group on Facebook. I hope you enjoyed this new tool, and as always, good luck and have fun.